All right, so we are back now with Emma and Hilda on the piano. Uh, hello. Hello. You hear me well? Very well. Great. All right, so we are going on with this masterclass. I'm in Paris for the one joining us, and you both are in Riga. Um, so you are going to play for us uh, Adagio and Allegro from Schumann, right? Yes. And can you just tell me a few words about uh, about yourself? Um, so I am a first year master's student studying in the Yazips uh, Vitos Latvian Music Academy um, with Dian Ozoli. Okay, great. And may I ask how old you are? I'm 25. 25. Great. All right. So let's let's play the the Schumann.
What do you feel about this piece? How do you see? How do you see it? What do you want to say for this piece? Well, um, I think the first part, the adagio part, which Schumann also originally called a romance, it should be um, more contemplative and more inside. Also, the mit innigem Ausdruck that shows that, and then the allegro should be. Um, overjoyed and very joyful and happy and and just full of life and energy. Great. Um, I think it's very beautiful. It's, it's beautifully controlled and, and the details. Um, what maybe I would like to, to work a little bit on is, is to have a little bit more um, differences between those two big characters of, of Schumann and, and, and sometime, um, yeah, especially in the, in the Allegro, sometimes I miss this, this craziness a, a little bit and, and this insecurity with the vibrato, with the rubato inside, inside the bar, something mm -hmm. a little bit more moving and, and, um, yeah, insecurity, um, and then in the adagio, maybe we can also work a little bit more in in the other part, in the other side, the being a little bit more tender, maybe in mm -hmm. inside, not not showing too much, of course, because it's 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 very intimate romance, as you said, but um, yeah, maybe a little bit more tender in the in the vibrato, in the sound texture. Um, and uh, also in the Allegro, the, the, I think the Allegro, in a way, is easier for the horn. It's, it's really the, the writing. It's, I think it sounds easier in a way for the horn. For us, it's, it's kind of uh, yeah. challenging. You need lots of strengths, it's diff difficult positions, and, and it's quite, actually quite tiring for the hand. So we have to be careful to try to find this sound texture, which is maybe probably closer to the horn, which I think is, is how it should sound. Um, but always having the directions. We have to be careful with all the accents, how we do them, the, the forte piano, the sforzendo, not to mix up with accents, strong accents sometimes. Of course, technically, we, we kind of, you know, put an accent here and there um so never losing the direction all right let's 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 start again from the beginning oh and the light is coming back in paris it was raining 10 minutes ago and now it's blue sky all right just for schumann yes okay can you can you at the beginning try to match your breathing with what you want to say on the first note. Yeah. Now, for me, the breathing is a little bit too active yes. rather than have a breathing which is already in something very intimate, very, very tender, very delicate.
Okay. Okay. Very nice. Your breathing at the beginning, I, I think, was much better, and you were perfectly together. And 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 we already feel coming into this this uh, this space. Um, could you try to do your slide on the third bar um, from the D flat to the B flat, yeah. also with uh, being more delicate? I think it goes a bit too fast for me. Also, the first crescendo. I think it's it's not much. I I even think you do a little bit too much. Don't make too much, too much movement. Yes. <laughs> yeah. If you go back to the down bow, just do it smoothly. Okay. Yeah. Let's let's just do the first phrase for now. Once again, once again, you're not together. That's that's very nice. Your your slide was absolutely gorgeous. Um, try try when you when you accompany Hilda. Try to really be with her. It's it's. Okay, and then yes, and then when you finish, try to anticipate. Also, don't don't do unnecessary movement. Where also when when. When we hear is something different, we don't see your movements. But in a concert, when we look at someone on stage, if we see some movements which are not connected to the music, it it, it brings us out of this state of mind. So try to be smooth. So now this this uh, this little phrase, um, it's very beautiful what you do, but I think it could be even more connected. one just one phrase look at the look at the, the the phrasing line it's one it's one big phrase so of course we need to cut a little bit inside but just have this long phrase in mind Let, let's do one last time from the beginning can you try to have this first note now you're perfectly together but i hear your first note as a clear start oh, i would like to have this note just oh, like like a breeze really coming into this character. Okay, that was that was beautiful. That was beautiful. You know what we miss now? To make it even better. Um, I don't know. <laughs> don't know which way you think. Maybe vibrato. Maybe some. No, no. That was very delicate. That was very beautiful. I think what we miss is a little bit more legato. No portamento. Oh, yeah, Yes. Uh, maybe let's 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 take on the on the piano piano theme. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 
Yes, that was very nice. Now, if you do this bowing, I think it works very well. The only thing that you could do a bit better is not putting an accent on the last A. And then the phrase goes back to the piano. Yep, yep. Again? Same, same place? Yep. Okay, so two things. Um, you don't, same thing here, don't cut. Uh. It's the same phrase. Eh? That's, that's, the, that's the bar line. And here, try to be more delicate going to the A flat. And same here, don't do. It's always piano, cello, piano, cello. So try to have this big line and not cut it. Um, Yes, yes, but now you now you did cut the phrase a little bit. You did da di da 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 di da di da da di. Let's stay there directly. Just one before your entrance, maybe. Yes, yes, but now you do now 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 you do another phrase. You do da di da di da da di da di da di da di. Okay, now, now, now I think you did the you did the phrasing a little bit better. You did yum da da, which you didn't do before. So I think that that's very nice. But why not do it in 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 the other way instead of? Uh... Okay, 
that's that's very beautiful, very beautiful. The only thing, try not to cut too much. Ta -da, ba -da -ba. That's a shame. You do it. In... Maybe slur to. Maybe just one change is enough. Maybe not two. Just do what what suits you better, but yeah. always think of the phrase. Yeah. Okay, so now we come to the now we come to the discussion. Sforzando, forte piano. So this one is this is the Schumann. And forte piano. Okay, very nice. Now, when you do this, uh, this is in in this in those phrases. Try to be a little bit more rubato inside. Not too much. I'm not telling you to make crazy things or, but just don't be don't be strict with the rhythm. Just just sing. Follow the line. It's very nice. Um, how would you sing this phrase? Um, probably lingering on the on the last line. Yeah. Yeah. Can you sing it? Sing it as a like, but yeah. in short, going on into a diminuendo, like really 
tender the the, the, the top and okay the but fine... would you yeah. would you really my question is would you really take so much time on the on the upper on the d first, on the upper d now we we yeah. you did it beautifully but I, I i lose a little bit the the direction of the phrase yeah. so right. i agree yeah. to take a little bit of time on the on this d but no uh, Maybe a bit more. But maybe not. It feels like oh, oh, oh. Yeah, we're we, 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 yeah. we're lost. We don't know anymore where we are. <laughs> Try yeah, to okay. really yeah. keep the line. Let's try. Um... Okay, I think the timing. I think the timing is is much nicer. Now try to wherever you cut. This is your business. But we don't want to hear it. We just want to hear this line. Yeah. Okay, that's better, but I'm sure you can do even better. Try to anticipate a bit more the change. Can we have a little bit? Can we have a special attention on the on the G flat? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, try try to. I mean, now you didn't know if we were going on or not, but yeah. try to really keep the. Try to keep the tension. Yeah. To keep, keep. I mean, the tension. Keep keep the line. The music is going on in in the silence. Directly.
direction. And... Scordendo, bit more vibrato. Same here. No accent here. Yes? Okay, beginning. It, it's it's very nice, but I need to see you also physically a little bit more involved in this in this dialogue you're having, Bozo. Here is important. Uh, A uh, little bit more moving inside. Very good. Just one last thing. Uh, be careful, those ones are all legato. Don't do. Yes? All right. Now we change totally the character. I think you could take just a little bit more time. I think we all need, you need, the audience needs also just, just to breathe a little bit. And from the first note, already a new character. Bada badam, bada badam, yeah, Once no, once more, yeah. once no. Quality, the quality of the F sharp. Mm -hmm. No, I hear, I hear. Buh. 
I hear a clear, I hear a clear start. Buh. Take your time. Vibrate before, vibrate before the note. Yeah, yeah. So now you have the crescendo before G. Do you have big letters? No, unfortunately, I only no. have bar numbers. Okay, so before before the the key change, yeah, yeah. you have you have uh, yeah, yeah. Be, we have two times yeah crescendo, but then we yeah. have again a crescendo for two, four, six, eight bars yeah. back to the to the allegro yeah. theme. Yeah. So yeah. if if you really are too loud, are so loud on the key change, and if you don't drop and if you go on with the crescendo. Then you already double forty. You don't have a, a progression range. Yeah. So yeah. either you do a little bit less crescendo before the key change, and you do it more in the character. More, more moving. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then. And then really do the crescendo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's take on the 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 last piano before the key change. Careful here. You you did it already before. I didn't I didn't tell you, but uh... oh, it's, it comes up. <laughs> da -da.
you need to be more involved. It's it's we heard it already two, three, four. Yeah, it's the last time it comes and tadi. Um, So it's it's getting really uh, exciting, yeah. So if you, if you stay too quiet, then we don't understand what's happening. So you need to be more more involved. And uh, also here, it's the last time. Sorry, pop pop pop. Think of the horn, yeah. yeah. Um, and also. Yes, a little bit more insisting on the sports end. All right. Uh, yeah. 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 If you want to take a bit of time, it's like, okay, but build it in the phrase. Now you do a, you do a big accent on the, uh, We need a little bit more spazzando on the F, uh, on the Schneller. And then at the end, think of the horn here also. Yeah. And there is a dot, but not too short, the three last note. Very proud. Schneller? Great, great, bravo. Well, thank you very much to both. Thank you, thank you very, very much. All, yeah. all the best to you till next time, hopefully. Yes. And uh, so we go on in a few minutes with Dvorak Cello Concerto, if I'm not mistaken. So see you in a minute. Thank you, Emma and Hilda. Thank you. Thank you thank very you. much.